Hello Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of Beauty News, this is the 14th of June edition. It is. We're going to be talking about new release beauty products and updates, all stuff that's released in the last week, but before we get into it, drum roll please. We have a sponsor. We do. <laughs> we do. Uh, and it is Himalaya again. Yes. So our first ever sponsor on Beauty News was the Himalaya app. Uh, it's a podcast app. and um, We're back, baby. We're back. We're back. They're back. We're all back. Uh, so essentially Himalaya is a podcast app. It is free. It is easy to use. And it consists of all of the podcasts that you already love. And some that you haven't even discovered yet. So I have been using it and I do find that uh, one good thing I do like about it is it's much easier to discover new podcasts. Yeah. Because that's always a problem with me. I find it very hard to discover podcasts on other apps. Yeah, so. that's probably a hard, like the hard part about it as well. And the way this app works is it's designed to sort of know what you like. Yes. Um, and it'll like curate playlists so that you're finding more of what you do like. You can also create your own episodic playlist and you can share it on like socials, um, through, you know, email, messenger, all that sort of stuff. So they've also got a themed collection. So if you like Game of Thrones podcasts, um, they can help you find more podcasts of that theme. If you're a podcast creator, you can uh, put up your podcast 24 hours early. Yeah, early so access for early some people. Early access feature, which is cool. You can also obviously follow your favorite podcasters. You can like podcasts. You can comment on podcasts. Just like YouTube. Exactly. And they do have a feature where you can support your favorite podcasters by donating to them through the app. So you can find and download Himalaya on the App Store. There will also be a link down in the description box if you just want to go use that it's easy for some people uh and don't forget to follow beauty news while you're there because yes we are on the app as well yeah so we turn these episodes into podcasts so if you don't want to stream youtube when you're driving your car to work or you're on the train <laughs> yeah. you can listen to a podcast you can yeah and you can use our instagram account to search through and keep up to date with the photos and stuff like that so yes. you're not missing out on you know the visual aspects but please don't do that when you're driving don't do that when you're driving. <laughs> um, but when we do talk about himalaya we like to give a recommendation of podcasts that we've been listening to yes and who else is obsessed with chernobyl oh my god on HBO? have you guys been watching it Hands up if you've been watching it. It's like, it's consumed my week. It's, Holy it's crap, like, it's so it's good. It's all I want to talk about. And the reason we're talking about Chernobyl, it's a TV show, so it's not being streamed on the podcast app. No. But the creators have created a podcast that supports each episode. Yeah, so what I thought was great about this is if you've watched the season and you want more, which I left wanting to know more, yeah. they sit down with the um, writer... Uh, producer, like creator of the show. And he talks about how we got all these stories mm. and talks about what he's changed slightly for the TV show, what the real truth is. And since the TV show is all about uncovering, truth, lies. uncovering yeah. lies, he wanted to be completely transparent about what lines were actually said, what was identical to what happened and what did they change slightly and why. So these episodes, there's one episode per TV episode, one podcast episode per TV episode, and they just go through pretty much the themes of the show and give background on the characters that they didn't have time to put in the TV show. And I just thought it was really fascinating. So if you love that show, listen to the podcast. We'll link it down below as well. Highly I think recommend. it's fantastic that they've done that. It gives you I a little bit all of shows insight. Should do it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Such a good idea. Yeah. Uh, and don't forget to let us know what your favorite yes. podcast at the moment is I down in the comments section so other people can find some. And us. And us. We yes. like suggestions too. All right. Let's get on to updates. So these are the things that we've spoken about in the past and we're mm -hmm. giving you new information on. All right. The first one is Glam Light. So mm -hmm. we talked about the pizza slice palettes a few months ago. So this is a brand that did the pizza palette, the big massive round pizza palette and they were showing that they were going to release the meat supreme no the meat lovers and the veggie lovers slice pizzas which are 10 pan 
eyeshadow palettes. Now we have seen them, they're available for pre-order. So there's a sort of warm toned palette and it's got pinks and reds and stuff and browns. That's the Meat Lovers. The one with the greens and the sort of um, musty colors is the Veggie Lovers. That one is very trendy right now. A lot of people are interested. Um, but these are new shades to the pizza range, but I believe there might be double ups if you had the burger palette or the taco palette. So these oh, okay. are new to the pizza range, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. So if you've got the pizza palette, you don't have these, but I think there are some that look familiar from other palettes. Along with that, they have released a new liquid lipstick. Mm -hmm. So with their last um, taco palette, they released a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. Now they've released a red one and it's called pepperoni. So uh, the palettes are $22 a slice and um, the liquid lipstick, I believe is, $14. Yep. So they're all available now for pre-order. I almost forgot that this was a thing. Um, I thought this was last week's news. It's not. Um, over the weekend, Jeffree Star revealed the new summer collection. Mm. Now, last week we did talk that, talk about Beauty <clears throat> Bay, was it? Yeah, I think it was Beauty Bay. Beauty yep. Bay had put up little like placeholders for summer palettes and liquid lipstick shades and they were 100% accurate. Mm. Um, and I don't know if that was sort of Jeffree Star released this because that was leaked or because it was just meant to be. Yeah. But over the weekend, we did see the reveal of the Jawbreaker collection. So the summer collection. So it's all launching on the June 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And there is a lot. In, it's the biggest like collection release to in date. A while, yeah. No, he said it's oh. the biggest like that he's done, which yeah. is... Yeah, so it's similar to other things, but there's two palettes instead of... And, yep. and also a highlighter palette. Yeah. So it's a little bit bigger than normal things. So we'll run through them. There's a Jawbreaker palette, which is 24 shades. It's $58. There's also a mini palette. It's a mini breaker palette. This is nine eyeshadows, and it's $28 each. Now, there are two repeats in each of the palettes. So a pink and a purple shade is in both palettes, which is a little right. bit annoying, especially since you can buy the bundle for $75. Yeah. So there's that. We'll talk about the colors and stuff in a sec. I just want to run through all this. Then we've got the Brain Freeze Skin Frost Pro Palette. It's $40. This has, uh, what is it? Six shades in there. And one of them, it looks speckled like mm -hmm. a jawbreaker yeah. or a gobstopper. But it's actually an overspray. It's called Gold Breaker. It's yeah. an overspray. It, yeah. There's also three new Supreme Frosts. These are $32 each. So these are not like the Skin Frosts. They're glittery versions. Mm -hmm. And um, there's Diamond Wet, Candy Apple Drip, and Caramel or Caramel Kiss. Um, one is green. Interesting. Uh, then we have six new shades of liquid lipstick um these 18 dollars each and he always brings out six in every collection so this is no different we've got yes ma'am which is a neon hot pink we've got purple urkel which is a bright lavender with glitter this actually looks quite sheer in the swatch we've got bronze blood which is a metallic metallic rose gold we've got fully nude which is a peachy warm nude uh, strawberry Crush, which is a neon strawberry red, and No Offense, which is an acid chartreuse, which ma matches the packaging of all this whole collection. It's pretty much the only thing that does. Mm -hmm. um, then we've got that in a bundle. You can buy all six shades for $85. Then we get onto the Lip Ammunition lipsticks. These are $18 each. There are six shades as well, and all of these are that sheer glittery finish. So then there's no like opaque, creamy colors. They're all sheer glitter sort of topper shades. There's Jawbreaker, Glazed, Snow Cone, Yummy, Candy Freeze, and Brown Sugar. Then there's three Velour Lip Scrubs, $12 each. There's Lemon Sucker, Pineapple Juice, and Cucumber Mint, uh, along with new accessories. Three hand mirrors. There's a pink, a pink and a white Jawbreaker design, and there's also the Chartreuse sort of uh, acid color, which matches the packaging of the whole collection. There's five new makeup bag styles and then there's other crap, clothing crap that mm. I don't give a shit about. It's not beauty news. Yeah, this is a big collection. What do you think of it? I, I, I'm already bored. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not interested in it. I don't need it. Um, the highlighting palette, uh, oh God, um, it's... I don't want it. It's boring. No thanks. The individual highlighters, 
I, I can't even, that green, like I'm having flashbacks to his black one. Yeah. Cool, it's different, that's great, but it's also just landfill at the end of the day. Uh, the palettes, I don't really, I mean, if you like purples, I think the mini jawbreaker is it's a nice little cool capsule. Palette. Yeah, I think yeah. I think you should create more mini capsule palettes. Yeah, the the big jawbreaker looks massive. I can't even. That's too much for me. Uh, the lip scrubs, yum. I want to eat them. Yeah. The mirrors, fine. Whatever. The bags, fine. Whatever. Um, liquid lipsticks. I like that really vibrant strawberry color. That's mm -hmm. really pretty. Those lip ammunitions. Oh my God. Just moving right along. Yeah, I think there's one color in the lip ammunition that I don't mind, and I don't know what the exact color is, but it's um, it's this one here. It's sort of like a silvery gold pinky color because this would make a really pretty highlighter. On yeah. the lips, okay, if you build it up, it can look frosty as hell, but I reckon this could be the equivalent of a nice shimmery lip gloss. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I'm like, it's a pretty color. Do I need it? Hell no. I think the biggest thing that people are interested in or the pe things that people get ex excited about the most in these collections is definitely the eyeshadow palettes. Yeah. And the biggest eyeshadow palette is like it's 24 shades. It's much larger it's than his lot. normal eyeshadow palettes. Usually there's three rows of six. There now there's four rows of six. Now, like I said, there is a double up of two shades in here. The two shades are, I think it's bubblegum and bite me, I think. Yeah, those two shades are in both palettes. Look, I understand that this is related to candy mm. and it's kind of fun and it, everything's colourful these days. I think this is a boring colourful palette. Can I yeah, say that? Like, yeah. rainbow palettes are coming up everywhere these days and some people are doing them well and other people are doing them badly. And this just seems boring to me. I think if he had organised these colours in gradient, like yeah. lightest to darkest, I think it would look so much prettier. I, agree. I couldn't like I honestly could not give two and a half shits about putting in effort to do that. Like I'm not going to waste my time. Someone yeah. will do it eventually. Yeah, and I think I'm I've sure seen it'll a few look really cool. That. Yeah, but like I just I I don't know. I just think for me the mix between pastels and um, nudes. Like there's a brown and like a kind of like a like a beige nude. Mm. The mix between those and the colourful co colours, and then there's some, like, muted colours, it just doesn't look very exciting to me. And I always see Jeffree Star, even though I I personally don't like the quality of his products. Mm. There is nothing that I would recommend to people. If people said, came to me and said, Kat, what's your favourite liquid lipstick? Is it Jeffree Star? I'd be like, heck no. no. What's your favourite highlighter? Is it Jeffree Star? No. no. I just don't. I would not recommend his products. They don't work for me personally. I don't like them. But I always can hand it to him for looking, doing something, doing something different. different. He always does different stuff. And, and this is not different. And that's why we actually, like, we don't mind talking about his stuff yeah. because it's actually interesting. This like, is not different. Sit down and consume new makeup for three years every single day and talk about it at length yeah. and and analyze it and all that stuff everything starts to look the same and everything's boring yeah and it's just like fucking yawn town jeffree star at least does something a little bit interesting every now and then this this is it, this, this isn't I, it this isn't it like i i like i like the the concept jawbreaker like yeah i like that it's concept cute too. but I don't, I don't care. Like, um, that's cool. Do you I know what also go. frustrates me, though? Mm. Like, chartreuse is a really cool color and actually can look really cool on the eyes. Not in the palette. No. It's, it's like the it's only not... thing that they've actually put in the makeup that's chartreuse is one liquid lipstick. Mm. But then they vibed, like, they've created the packaging all around this color that is, like, I would say yeah, the dominant color really in this is probably pink. In... Yeah, yeah, it is. So I would love to have seen some, like there's one green in this palette, but green is such a trendy color. Why is there just a mint green in here or like a grass green? There should be chartreuse and acid greens. And, and like, I just don't think this is forward thinking. This is backwards thinking. And when I look at rainbow eyeshadow palettes, I would much prefer to buy the Morphe pride palette. Yeah. Time and time again over this just personally. So this isn't, yeah, the cucumber mint lip scrub is probably the thing yeah. that interests me the like, most. I, I like, 
I've discovered that I like using these types of sugar lip scrubs in the shower because I eat them. <laughs> like, but that that's it. The end. All right. Another update. This is MAC. Uh, this is their Summer Mini Fix Plus setting sprays. So previously we did see that there was a watermelon one coming, a peony one, white tea and pineapple. They've also got a cucumber one, which... Have we seen existing. that before? It's existing. Yeah. It's just it's existing. different packaging. Yeah. It's like launching across the world throughout like late July. June and July. So, yeah. you know. I hope they sell the minis in a pack. I hope so too. Second last update. We've seen that the Physician's Formula new Rosé All Day Petal Glow highlighters are actually coming in a few shades. So originally we saw one shade. Now we've seen Soft Petal, Shimmering Rose, Freshly Picked and Petal Pink. So these are launching soon, $15.99 each. So keep an eye out if you're interested. But they're all varieties of like rose gold colors. Mm. From Too Faced, the Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder, so the powder foundation, is coming later this month. It's going to be available in 25 shades, $37 each. It's oil-free, control shine, long wearing for 12 hours, blurs the look of imperfections, reduces the appearance of fun. Fine lines, wrinkles and pores, non-drying, photo-friendly, hides redness, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, if you if you want that. There's also some new brushes. So this one is actually the Perfectly Portable Powder Brush. It's $34, cruelty-free synthetic teddy bear hair. Uh, and then there's the Mr. Perfect Foundation Brush, $34. Again, cruelty-free synthetic hair. All right, this could be an update, but it's... Mm. Not, but yeah. Um, Beauty Blender, we saw the other week that they were they released a yellow Beauty Blender for Pride Month and we're like, why is, that, why is happening? Is that so they can create a rainbow? But they didn't really do that. Now they've shown that it pretty much is. So they have brought back some of their limited edition colors for the month of June to celebrate Pride. Mm. Um, so you can see some colors here, some old colors that they've brought out as limited edition and then... Um, discontinued and what they're doing is if you buy any of these from their pride page uh 10 off all the proceeds will be donated to lgbtq causes via human rights campaign once again i don't think this is enough to donate i think this is a bit piss weak um once again, it's a you bit of a cash. Are embarrassing. Yeah, <laughs> but also just make sure that if you do want to buy these, you have to go to their site and I believe click there's on the banner. There's a specific page. Yeah, there's a specific yeah. page with all these on there. I think if you buy it through that, it gets the donation. And I think a few people have said that they think it's not good that they have so many other retailers that th this doesn't apply to. But I just think, once again, that's paperwork. It's very hard mm. to – these people have bought off – like the Sephora and all these other stores have bought they from already, Beauty Blender. Yeah, they buy the they've, already, they've already paid for it. It's hard to then track donations on things that were probably bought three months in advance. Mm. So it's just – it's hard. It's paperwork. From Becca <laughs> – we have the Afterglow Sunset Face Palette. Uh, this looks to be a Nordstrom exclusive at the moment. I don't know if it's going to stay that way. Um, but it is a five pan face palette. It includes um, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Crystal Gold and Champagne Pop, Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast, Luminous Blush in Snapdragon, and the Mineral Blush in Flower Child. And it's the same design as their eyeshadow palettes yeah, from way back they, when. Yeah, they did. I'm sure they did a face palette yeah, they like did. this years ago. Years ago they did. You're right. All right. Charlotte Tilbury uh, has something hot coming. Um, so what they will be releasing this week, what we haven't seen yet. So hopefully there'll be updates on the screen. So this is their Hot Lips 2 range. They previously had the Hot Lips range. They're bringing out a second range. We haven't seen it yet, but they are showing it throughout this week. So, like I said, we'll update you. If we can't put things on the screen, we'll update you next week. Um, but what is most interesting about this is that they've designed five reusable cases. That's cool. So, you can buy the Hot Lips 2 lipsticks, which we don't yet know the shades of, but then you can choose a refillable package and then you can refill it. And mm. the packages look pretty cool. So um, they have like a starburst looking one. They have like a leopard print 
they've got a few things. So yeah. it actually is interesting. I think the designs are pretty cool and people will be into it. So if That's you do cool. want to save packaging mm. and just have one tube and then refill it, you can do it with Charlotte It Tilbury. also says it's supposed to be benefiting Women for Women UK. Yes. There's no information on We don't have any information how that, yet. Yeah. How that is being done. Yeah. Um, oh my god. From Ciate, we have two new lip products. There's a watermelon hydrating lip oil and the watermelon hydrating primer. I know. Mm-mm-mm. So the primer is a jelly that contains little balls that are supposed to burst when they come in contact with your skin. Uh, very interesting. Um, and the lip oil is just a hydrating lip oil yeah so they're now available at the Ciate website and i also believe the sephora us website um if you buy from Ciate, you can buy them individually so the primer is 24 pounds and the lip oil is 12 pounds or you can buy a mini duo oh. set for 10 pounds and try them out why don't we have access to Ciate online like i think that. you might be able to order from them you just have to pay shipping yeah six hundred dollars that was like the uh, the Morphe Pride collection. The brush set sold out online on the Australia website. So I go to within the, a few minutes. Yeah, wasn't it? really quickly. So I went to the American website because I know they still ship. It was like thirty five dollars for shipping. No, fuck off. It's crazy. It's more than the brush set. Exactly. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. All right, ColourPop have released some new curated eyeshadow palettes so we've got the rainbow land large palette this is 40 dollars. so there's 24 shades they're all existing shades but there's a nice selection of nudes and then like different colors all in a rainbow there's also the here comes the sun which also has some of the pressed glitters and this is more peachy uh pink yellow orange a bit of purple it's very sort of spring summer um and that's 40 dollars as well or you have your future is bright this is uh, a 12 pan palette and it's $20. And yeah. this one is, you know, pinks, purples, peachy colors. They've also got 30% off the BFF collection. Um, so I don't know if that's still running when this is going up, but sales and stuff. stuff. From Eye of Horus, we have the Bio Lip Elixir. They're calling it a magical yeah. potion infused with ancient. No. <laughs> you'd like this one i thought you'd like this one Haley. it's infused with ancient bullshit <laughs> fuck me drunk yeah. ancient wisdom and nature's medicine that brings your lips to life um so it's a higher gloss conditioning protective product uh it's retailing for 38 australian dollars yeah so this is an interesting one so I Have Horace is a brand that's been around in Australia for a long time. They yeah. actually do have some pretty decent products. Yeah, they do. Um, and they've sort of been off my radar for the longest time. And I thought, oh, I saw this and I'm like, no, look, we've got to start talking about them. They're Australian. They're not bad. They've, they're known for their mascara and their like eyeliners. But this is interesting. They also are boasting, like I saw on their Instagram stories, they were asking people um, how they can be better environmentally friendly or something like they're really trying to be environmentally friendly but look at the excessive packaging i'm like why does a lip gloss need to have that much packaging it doesn't why but it's a lip gloss it's not a fucking this isn't the queen like we don't need to roll out the black and gold carpet it's not a a faberge egg that needs a thing to anyway oh my god jojoba oil vitamin e like it's not that exciting it's it, yeah. Anyway, it might be a nice lip gloss. It probably is a really nice lip gloss. Yeah. I really like the look of the packaging. I just like I read this bullshit. Ancient wisdom. Can maybe they like inscribe something on the packaging that's supposed to help your life somehow? Like I don't think it does. I get like jojoba oil and vitamin E. Yeah, probably been used for centuries. Um, to treat skin and make us feel comfortable and hydrated. Yeah, we're moving on. Yeah. All right. Give Me Glow Cosmetics are showing a new palette. It's the Vintage Rose palette. We've seen two shades, 
blush pink and blossom and there's a swatch of blossom it's very metallic um it's launching the 30th of august no, we'll talk about it when it launches i can't believe that they're showing something it's from... gonna be 36 us dollars my god and just so we talk about it now juicy olive will restock every friday there we go done we'll talk about your shit when it releases um, Glam Glow, we have a cool sheet. This is a no drip hydrating sheet mask. These are retailing for 14 US dollars. Looks to be only one. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a bit rich. She, yeah. She's a bit rich. Um, and it looks like a really stiff paper. Can yeah, it looks like it's, that? it's <laughs> like an Iron Man <laughs> Look mask. Look at this. It's crazy looking, isn't Look it? Look at that. Yeah, she looks a bit stiff. That looks uncomfortable. Um, so they're calling it... Like I said, no drip hydrating sheet mask. You can use at home or on the go. Yes. <laughs> on the I train. really want to see someone driving their car wearing that. You need to be on the train listening to our podcast while wearing this and take a photo. Yes, please. All right. I'll, um, I'll like that. It's fortified with glycerin um, and it cools on contact, instantly invigorating the complexion for conditioned glowing skin in minutes. I wonder if this is similar to that dry mask. Who was it from? Was it Charlotte Tilbury? They do like a, it's a dry sheet mask. Um, and you're meant to be able to reuse it a few times. Let me see. If I, I don't think it. that that's reusable though. I don't feel no, like, no, no. Yeah. But I think like, I'm wondering if this it's is meant to concept. be like a dry sheet mask. All right, Inglot have launched new powders. So they've launched this in collaboration with Project Aware and it's uh, to spread awareness of the issues facing our oceans today. Mm -hmm. So they're launching the Stay Hydrated Pressed Powder and a portion of the sales income will be donated to Project Aware. They're not very transparent about that. If I can find more information, we'll put it on the screen. Mm. It's a powder that's supposed to keep you hydrated. Yeah. There's seven shades. It's 27 US dollars each. Uh, a lot of people are sort of talking about how you buy it in plastic packaging and how the issue with the ocean is a lot of plastic. Totally fair. But these, to be fair, these are reusable containers. Yeah. So you can buy the compact. The compact. And put- and put the like new magnetic. powders in. Yeah. So it's, once again, it's similar to the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick tubes. If people yeah. actually buy a container and they're going to re, like, reuse it, it's not as bad as people just chucking it out plastic yeah. containers. So this is the packaging, the blue packaging is part of the Freedom System palette. Yeah, line. Um, line. KKW, we have um, something that's coming yeah. yeah, everyone's predicting it's going to be an illuminating body product, Probably. which I think is completely fair. And this is releasing on the 21st of June, so probably by the time you're watching this, we'll have more photos. They're calling it the ultimate body perfecting secret. And this legend, yeah, Celeste Barber, she... Um... Yeah, she was onto it. She was onto it fast. Good on her. <laughs> She's a fucking legend. Um, she's basically recreated the pose from the photo shoot, the sneak peek photo shoot. And she said, um, hiding from your husband when he suggests sexy time. (laughs) (laughs) She looks so uncomfortable in that bath. She's like, must not (laughs) be seen. (laughs) I love it. Hide. She's She's a gun. All right, Kylie Cosmetics, we've got two things. Firstly, uh, two new lip kits. There's Posy K Velvet Lip Kit. You may be wondering why the fuck, because Posy K has been out for ages. That's the matte one. This is now in the velvet Velvet formula. formula. Then there's the bare matte lip kit. So that's a nude shade. They're available now. They've also shown round three, the new Coco Collection. So they're collaborating with Chloe Kardashian and it's releasing on the 14th of June. Now, when I went to go post about this, I'm like, Coco Collection. That's Courtney, isn't it? Co, co. No, it's Chloe. I nearly posted the wrong thing. People oh, would have God. absolutely cracked the shits. Um, anyway, it's round three. You we- would think clo clo <laughs> yeah i'm like what is the deal but we've seen what's in the collection there's the coco eyeshadow palette every single shade in this eyeshadow palette is named after her kid oh okay so her kid is i think called true 
Mm-hmm. True faith, true's mum, must be true, true love, dreams come true, always true, true meaning my baby true, and Truseldorf. <laughs> Shit. I just, I, I, I can't even function. Anyway, that's the I'm going to release a pl- palette after my cat's going to be Odin. Yeah. Odin 1. Yeah. Odin 2. Odin, Odin Brown. Brown. <laughs> Yes, I think that's... Odin the fluffy bum. Yeah. I think people forget that, like, we don't... No one loves your shit as much as you love your shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I totally agree. Yeah. Anyway, there's also the true mama highlighter, believe yeah. it or not. Mm-hmm. Um, the bigger the hoops matte liquid lipstick, allergic to bullshit matte liquid lipstick, and ha- handbag ho lip liner. I don't think she's allergic to bullshit because she's just created a big pile of it. Anyway, that's all wow. releasing on the 14th. That collection cringe, cringe will go down in history as probably the most cringe-worthy thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, Kylie also put up a Day in the Life vlog on YouTube the other mm. week. And I want to mention that the, she has shown that she's going to collaborate with Kendall, cool. which I don't think they've done that before. From memory, she's also going to be adding an SBF product to her skincare line. Cool. So, more's coming. Good. Not that we doubted S- that. SPF ever. can protect you after using the almond scrub. Well, it or needs the, to. Was it not almond scrub? Walnut uh, scrub. Walnut scrub. There yeah, that's go. true. There we go. Um, we've got something new from Makeup Geek. Yeah, these actually aren't bad. Yeah, so these are uh, face palettes. I wanted to point out that they're advertising it with a bunch of stuff here. So they're like, bear it all, beauty collection, Mm. like available now, but it's a re-promoted palette and other products. Guess who's back? The In The Nude palette. The only things that are new are the the face palettes. Beautifully bare face palettes, which are $24.99 each. There's three shades, light, pale, medium, well, sorry, light palette, medium palette, and deep palette. So there's one... Uh, depending on your different skin tones. I think they look pretty. I love what they've done with those blushes. Yeah, I think it's great as well because if you look at them all lined up, they have the same vibe. Like, they're very summery, so the the blush is peachy. Mm. Um, and But it just so – like, they've chosen a different tone for each skin tone, which is really beautiful. Um, I think it's nice. I like yeah. it. Each pan is 7 grams of product, so even though it's – you know, 25 bucks, lot. it's still a lot of product you're getting. Um, I like it. It's 21 I grams of product for yeah. 25 bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty good. All right, people have been talking about this new brand called Makeup Obsession, and I thought we'll just quickly touch on it because I feel like people might mention it if we don't touch on it. Mm-hmm. So Trend Mood, other news, sort of makeup news accounts or YouTube channels have all been talking about it. Trend Mood actually said, there is a new beauty brand just dropped exclusive to Target. Say hello to Makeup Obsession. I wanted to point out that um, this is a brand. It's not new. Um, It's actually created by the same people that do do Revolution Beauty. So Makeup Revolution, Revolution Beauty, I Heart Revolution, and now Makeup Makeup Obsession. Obsession. Um, there is a lot of oh, products in this. There's palettes coming out the wazoo. There's powders. There's, you know, brow products. There's everything. And you might be asking, how can a brand launch with so much product? Because they're it's already because established. They're old. They've been around since 2016. Right. So the difference between this brand and the other Makeup Revolution brands is that it's mainly focused on. Um, sort of, they were started out as make your own palettes. Mm -hmm. So this was back in, yeah, late, what was it? Their first post was September 1st, 2016. So they've been around, they've been established for nearly three years. Um, and what they used to do was they had like all individual blushes, eyeshadows, um, highlighters, and you used to be able to buy a palette and make your own palette. They're all large pans. Um, now they have still kept that sort of customized looking thing where the pans, you can pop them out, but you buy them as established palettes, but right. they're just depotable. Mm-hmm. So there it's a massive range. It's not new. It's new to the U S right. It's not news. Yeah. Cause they're already in boots. Yeah, they've been in boots forever. Yeah. 
Well, there we go. From Maybelline, we have a new concealer. So this is a super stay, full coverage, long-lasting under-eye concealer. They're calling it a full coverage lightweight formula that effortlessly glides on and grips the skin to cover dark circles. Uh, it's supposed to offer a smooth, seamless under eye finish for up to 24 hours. At least that is actually long wear. Yeah. Not this 12 hour long wear business. This is interesting. So this is available now in the US and it will be coming probably elsewhere. I like the squeezy tube. So it's do a I. doe foot applicator, but a squeezy tube, which means that you can always get to the very end because mm. if you have a little bit of product left, you can squeeze it up. You can make sure you massage it onto the wand. I like this range. I like the super stay range. I'm interested. Yeah, I'm interested too. I would look the super stay range often breaks me out. Um, but under the eyes, I don't tend to get pimples. Good for very obvious reasons. Um, but 12 shades, I feel like it's not enough for, like, if it's actually full coverage. No, it's not. I think this is one of those things where you'd probably, if you really couldn't find a shade, you'd have to get a couple and mix them. Yeah. But at least ivory looks very fair. It almost looks white. Yeah. Then there's fair, which is pink toned, light, which is yellow toned, light, medium, which looks a bit yellow toned. And then you go into sand, medium, honey, caramel, it's all getting progressively darker. You've yeah. got tan, warm olive, deep bronze, deep cocoa. So it will cover a lot of different people. And I think it's, once again, one of those formulas. If they do well, they will expand, expand on, it. on it. But yeah, I think yeah. as a starting range, this is not bad for drugstore. Another Maybelline release. They've launched their collab with Alice and Olivia. So it's inspired by the ultimate New York City fashion lover who always brings a bold look and a bolder attitude. So it includes the Shine Compulsion lipsticks. Uh, there's four shades. The Color Sensational Creamy Matte Lipstick, four shades. The City Mini Eyeshadow Palette in Uptown Downtown Glow. The Hyper Curl Mascara, the Hyper Sharp Liner, Super Cushion Power Cover in two shades and the master flush stick. Uh, so it's now available in Asia, mm. which is strange because it's based on New York yeah, city. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe it's coming elsewhere. I drugstore brands are really hard because they never they have don't. one release day. No. They will stagger it throughout a year. Yeah, they will. They'll be like, this is released first in the U S or yeah. the UK. And then, Two years later, yeah. it's coming to Australia. But they often test the audience. like They test the market before they even want to distribute yeah. it internationally. So it's it's places. Mm. Um, from Milani Cosmetics, we have the Celestial Highlighting Palette. So this is available now at Milani, bleh, Milani Cosmetics for $19.99 US. And it looks like the um, Stella Heaven's Dew Yes, um, a three-pan version. Yeah. A lot cheaper. Yeah. I would say if you want a creamy, sort of glossy, shimmery face product, mm. go a cheap one. They're going to work just as well as Steeler. Yeah. And at least you've got three colors here. Mm. But the, yeah, the first shade very much looks like it the does. Steeler one. And even the way it's like sitting in the pan, I recognize yeah. it now. Now that I've like seen one in person and like destroyed it, I'm like, oh, you never forget that. Because it was one of those really strange things. It was almost jarring because yeah. it wasn't what you were expecting. Yeah. I do like these colors though. Like it's not for me, but I really do like the color variation. And what I like about them is, is like... Sort of an opaly, cool toned light shade. There's like a soft gold and then like a pinky color. So you could wear one in winter, summer as a blush topper or mix and match. These cream products you can easily mix and match. So um, not for me, but I, I think it's interesting. Yeah. They've also released two palettes. Uh, so by the time you're watching this, these are released. When we're talking about them, they're not. Um, but there's Gilded Noir and Gilded Rouge. They're very, very smoky. Uh, mm. Gilded Noir, which the which has a black outside packaging, um, pretty much has some nudes, some golds, and then a lot of smoky colors. This is very, very smoky eye, mainly shimmers. Um, and then the Gilded Rouge is, there's still smoky colors, grays, um, sort of brownie grays, bluey mm. grays, but it's got a little bit more purple. That plummy color, that 
by, by the, glass. the glass, that wine colour. My God. I know. But then it's and it's got a couple of sparkle shades as well, but this has more warm tones and red tones to it than um, sort of greys. So interesting. It's a weird release for summer. Yeah. I'm just going to say. Yeah, I think so too. I really like that red one. I really um, like the packaging design as well. So it's do really I. Cool. I think it's pretty. I mm, I like it. But, but look, I see two shades in there that I'm like, yeah, I'll buy a whole palette for that. Is it by the glass? Yeah, of course. Yeah. By the glass and sangria. Yeah. <laughs> look, I I make no qualms about still being obsessed with red eyeshadow. That's, that's fair. That's Le- look, at least you're consistent. And it, and it it it's literally like yes, one shade will make me buy a whole twenty six pan palette. If they're good. No shame. I have heard actually Milani eyeshadow palettes are really yeah, nice. Yeah, I've so. heard they're good too. All right. From NARS, we have some new lip products. So these are the oil-infused lip tints. Uh, they've got monochromatic packaging. And it's actually a, a shade extension range. Or, mm, sh- mm, shade range extension. There we go. We got it. Got it. She was in there. I just had to get her out. Um, so it's a lip oil tint that delivers a sheer wash of color and a moisturizing feel. There's orgasm. Of course. Of course. Peachy pink with golden shimmer. Uh, it's a re-promoted shade. Primal instinct, which is a light pink beige. High security, which is bright fuchsia. And disco infernal, which is vibrant purple. Um, these are available now at Sephora and on the NAS, NAS website uh, for $26 US dollars each. So I was going to say narcissist website. Because we're, no, I was going to say because we're narcissists. They're not, <laughs> yes, no, no, that's their Instagram handle. It is. All right, NYX have launched their new Electro Brights collection. So this is a shade extension to their matte lip creams, which were popular like. Six years ago? They're not really popular. It was like before the liquid lipstick trend. Oh my god, can we just discuss how NYX has dropped off a little bit? Yes. I don't think they're like... Okay, so here's what we know about NYX. They I... they don't like pay for advertising. Well, that's what they say. That's what they say. But they... They s- send out a lot of product. And there are a lot of influencers that do get paid from them, so I, I yeah, don't know how that yeah. works. But they use that excuse to not pay influencers in right. Australia at least. Okay, well there we go. They will pay them with product. Yeah. And exposure. Yeah. But where have they gone? We just don't hear about them anymore. Look, I actually think NYX is uh, hibernating right now. Mm. I think their key time of the year is Halloween. Yeah. And holiday. Mm. So I think what they're doing is they're gathering their momentum. Yeah. And they're going to come out with something massive. Because yeah. NYX Face Awards, when's that happening in the US? Um, Probably around now? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah. But that's when they sort of... Put in all their effort. Yeah. Sorry, did they do a Nick's Face Awards for this year in Australia? I don't know if they did. Let's have a look. All right. Looks like if anyone can tell us if yeah. the Nick's Face Awards in Australia is actually happening, we've just tried to have a look, and it it should be it's... happening at now because I usually have the awards in uh, June or July. Yeah. So maybe they've just totally. I have heard rumors that they're pulling, not pulling out of the Australian market, but they're. Pulling back. Pulling back from the Australian market. So, who knows? Nicks are dropping mm. off, obviously. But, mm. um, anyway, let's get back to the matte yeah, lip creams. The, the products. The products. So, this is the Electro Brights range. They're 7 each. There's a neon peach orange, a vivid violet, a vivid lilac, a hot pink, a sky blue, and a mint shade. Um, they all have names, but that's the shade description. There's also... Electro Bright's Loose Pigments, $6.50 each. These are US dollars. Um, there's Indigo Purple, Yellow, and Fuchsia Purple. Uh, Papagrath, we have nine new shades of the Blitz Trance lipsticks. So these are $38 US each, and they're available now on the Pat McGrath website. Um, these look to be a slightly different or even a very different finish to the usual Blitz Trance lipsticks, which yeah. were glitters and metallics. These appear to be like a satin shimmer. They're calling them a satin shimmer uh, with a couture cream formulation and provocative pigments. Um, But some of these just look, oh, not even some of them, all of them. They all look pretty. They do look pretty, but they almost look like a sheer shimmer. Like 
shimmer that they've got in there it doesn't look sparkly it just no. makes it look wet look yeah yeah but it looks like a thin formula you can almost it see does. the lips i kind of like it like yeah. full fantasy that's really mm. that's your full fantasy oh that's my full fantasy right there see i think i've got flesh three in the matte color right yeah i think you yeah, do I think actually I do. yeah so the shades are lady stardust naked kiss skin flicks emmanuel Blood Rush, Love Train, Skin Sane, Full Fantasy, and Flesh 3. There you go. They're available now. All right. Tarte Cosmetics have launched uh, some new products to the Busy Gal oh range. Oh, my God. Now, I thought this was Maybelline. See, the funny thing is... <sighs> oh, sorry. Cover Girl. Yeah. Well, it's funny. You say Cover Girl. A lot of people are saying ColourPop, and a lot okay. of people are saying Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie, yep. I see it. I, I see, see it. All. But it. Um, it is, you know, it's a standard tube just with that millennial pink yeah. color. So, you know, there's that. But um, previously in this busy gal range, they've got a tinted brow gel range. Uh, now they've added these glosses. Um, so they're hydrating, high impact shine with nourishing, like no stickiness, vitamin E infused, texture of a balm. Look of a lip gloss, mm -hmm. six shades available. So there's 17 US dollars each, with a, which a lot of people has take issue with, which I agree. That's Hello. fair. Um, and the shades are, they're fairly nice. You know, some are creamy, some are shimmery. Um, and they've got a sweet caramel scent. Mm. And they're supposed to hydrate for 12 hours. So use alone or apply over lipstick as a top coat. Then they've also released uh, two shades of Busy Gal Blush. These are $25 each. And they're a stick blush. So there's the shade Mood and Break Time. Um, and it's a vegan, creamy, multi-purpose cheek tint. You can also put, the, put it on the lips for a monochromatic look. Um, so those are available now. I guess they're supposed to be, if you're really busy, you chuck on some brow gel, chuck on a lip gloss, put something quick on your cheeks, and off you go. That's, yeah. That's, busy. That's, you're busy. Too you're busy, busy for then. this shit. Too busy for this shit. All right. Editing Cat here, and I wanted to tell you about a new Tarte collection that has just released and is out when you're watching this. Uh, so it's a collection to celebrate being cruelty free for 19 years. So it's a limited edition collection and it's called the Unleashed Collection. It contains the Unleashed Eyeshadow Palette and Travel Size Big Ego Mascara. So it's a pack with a mini mascara and a 15 pan eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette has a mix of colors and nudes so there's like a row of sort of mauvey colors there's a few oranges a few berry shades some sort of teal colors some gold some browns it's quite a nice mix of sort of nude and color then they have three shades of chrome paint shadow pots so these are described as mirror effect loose pigments that melts instantly and stays put for hours so the shades are unleashed which is a purple there's paradise found which is a champagne gold and wild at heart is like a pink that has a really cool shift then we have an interesting product this is actually the tarte lit chrome paint highlighter so it's similar to eyeshadows um, but it's a highlighter so it's a vegan high gleam mirrored metallic highlighter that has the high sheen of a cream but the easy wear and application of a powder so this again is like a champagne gold color the last thing we have is the llama lashes these are vegan latex free lashes that are free of fur and formaldehyde you'd bloody well hope so Anyway, these are available now. They are limited edition, so if you want to check them out, they're at the Tarte website. And let's get back to the regular scheduled program. Um, from the balm, oh, I don't know why I'm so excited about this, send help. Um, we've got some new coloured face products. So these look to be highlight and blush duos. I think they're multi-purpose duos. So okay. these are highlighting shadow, shadow slash blush duos. Oh. So you can either use them as highlighters, you can use them as blushes, or you can use them as eyeshadows. Right. So these are available now and there's three shades. What I do really like is that there's two shades in it. I think yeah. that's a cool I think it's move. cute. I, oh. And I really like <sighs> I really like the balm blush and highlighter formula. So this is kind of interesting. So these are called the Balm Fire. 
And there's three duo shades available. So there's Night Owl, Game Day, and Beach Goer. Yeah, I think... Stop making me want these things. Yeah, I think these are interesting. I really like the idea of them because I really... I like the, I like a thing that's compact. You can put mm. it in your drawer. It takes up the space of one, but you really have two. Oh um, these they are make such nice quality brushes. They do. But these are available now for $26 US each. There is some people that are taking issue with the color combination. And I, oh, okay. I understand that. But I do also think that this was a little bit misunderstood. I think people have seen this as being a blush and highlighted duo right. and are confused that the colors don't work together. Yeah, well, I thought it was blush and highlighters, but they're calling it highlighting shadow. Yeah. Which means... Pretty much just stick it where you want it, dolls. Yeah, it goes all over your face. You can yeah. put it wherever you want. So if you see it that way, I think this is a lot more palatable because, you know... This Dusk Dawn one, no, it was Night Out with Dusk yeah. and Dawn the Shades. There's a beautiful peach and there's also a beautiful sort of bronzy nude. Yeah, that's like, so pretty. You, you wouldn't wear them together, but no. you could wear one during the day and one, one at night. Evening, yeah. um, this one with High Tide and Low Tide, once again, it's a warm tone and a cool tone. You wouldn't wear them together, but you could wear them at different times of the year mm. or with different makeup. Does, like, So I think people seeing them as duos being worn together – are turning against this but if you just see it as a variety of um here's it's two like, shades of blush yeah a two i think one. yeah i think they're really pretty this one with pre, like pre-party is a gorgeous color it's pretty and victory if you've got fair skin would be beautiful as a highlighter or a blush topper so yeah. i do like them i think it's a good move i would prefer to see some more nudie peachy shades rather than the really like vibrant pinks mm. but i think it's a cool little idea i just don't like that they've swatched this is from the website. I They've know, I know, two, I know. Yeah, two it really lines upsets and me. then one in crescent moons. It upsets me it too. It confuses the shit out of yeah. me. Uh, from Wet n Wild, we have a new collaborative collection. This is with, wait for it, yeah. Pac-Man. Yeah. So uh, it includes a powder brush. This is $8.99. All of these prices are in US dollars. So powder brush, eyeshadow brush. And a nail polish set that contains five colours. There is also a blush palette, an eyeshadow palette, a powder bronzer, lip balms, glosses and lipsticks. Oh, they're going to be those those nice glosses, aren't they? The... And the lip balms are in uh, little balls. Oh my god. They're cute. Oh god. I really want the brushes. Yeah, and... so all we see right now oh, yeah. is... look at the brushes. They're I know. so cute. And I hope, yeah, the, the lip glosses, uh, they will have the images stuck on them, which is rad. I think this is fun. All we've seen so far is a photo of the stand. So yeah. it is available in some places in the US. Uh, when we get more information uh, from the brand, when we see it released, we will probably give a bit more Share information a bit more yeah uh but this is fun mm. um from ysl we have the secret crush mono glitter shot eyeshadows so these are launching for summer 2019 some are out now and they're like rolling out into other regions they're currently um in some european countries and they're retailing for 26 pounds each um so these are look they've made them look very nice Yes, they have, but they're goddamn expensive. They are goddamn expensive. This is the kind of thing, if you if you want a bougie, shimmery, teal eyeshadow, okay. Go for your Go life. Go for your life, but yeah. She's bougie. Yeah, She's I, expensive. I, they're very expensive. They're single shadows. You've got to have a lot of love for this. You do. Or find your perfect brown or champagne yeah. or peach that yeah, you can wear I agree. every day. I think if I was a one and done kind of person and I only had couple of eyeshadows i wouldn't have a problem spending 60 bucks on a ysl single eyeshadow that i love and adore but i'm not that person no i'm not that person either one thing i nearly forgot about and there's fluff everywhere from my blanket <laughs> um i Heart revolution have released a pride triple baked highlighter so this is a rainbow highlighter it's old school. We're going back a few mm. years now when rainbow highlighters were cool. But it is a baked highlighter. There's five shades in there. Red, orange, uh, yellow, green, and blue. And they are including this in the donating £25,000 to the mm. Human Dignity Trust. Mm -hmm. um, so sales of this 
the donations go towards that as well. They've already released some pallets that, yeah. that's going towards that. Yeah. This is included in it. Yeah. Um, but if you want a baked coloured highlighter, um, there's a pride one. £25,000 is a, it's a nice little chunk of money. It um, is, but I wonder how much money they're making, they're making from off it. the three pallets and the highlighter and whatnot. That's, yeah, I think that's probably the hardest part to stomach i i kind of would prefer brands to say we're donating a minimum of twenty five thousand dollars yeah but half our proceeds or whatever it might be i think half proceeds are a minimum what they should be donating i really feel like they should say half our proceeds are going to this we start like we're definitely going to be donating twenty five thousand pounds but we will tell you in a few months time how much we actually did raise so I I think like I've heard a few people mention you know they're making the products anyway they're donating the proceeds net proceeds so after everything's covered wages cost yep. of manufacturing Correct. packaging or, like all of it all so of everything's covered. covered and then they take everything that's left over and they donate that in the end it's still a tax deduction for them Correct. so they are benefiting from it in multiple ways they're getting all of their money back plus a tax deduction but the tax deduction is to a point yeah it's only to a point so you know so you can say that they're doing it as tax deduction you can say they're doing it for goodwill and you can say they're doing it for marketing and all of these absolutely true Mm. end result is people are getting donations towards it and people that are in this community are feeling like they're being accepted so tick tick these are great things i do believe they should like if they need to make a small profit i understand that yeah but say we're donating at least 50%, 70% of the proceeds. So the profit seems like that's not the point of what they're doing. Yeah. When they only donate 5%, 10% or an undisclosed amount of proceeds, Mm. it just seems like that's our little little ticket to get in the door to make this money. Yeah. So I feel like... And to also have the angels smiling upon us because we are inclusive. Yeah. 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 So I yeah I I don't think it's enough, but I don't know. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. The time has come to dedicate this episode of Beauty News to a Beauty News VIP, and this week's VIP is Sasha. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Sasha, for supporting Beauty News, and thank you to everyone who supports Beauty News in whichever way you choose to do it. Yes. And if you've made it to the end, show us in the comments that you have by including you can choose one of two things or. You can use both. You do you. Because of Pac-Man. Yes. Ghosts and cherries. Yeah. And anything else Pac-Man related that you think of. We love Pac-Man. He's great. I used to play that when I used to oh, work night shift. And we weren't allowed to play. There was like a lot of websites that were banned. I don't know why you make people like be on computers all night and then they can't access the internet. Yeah. Whatever. But it's one depressing. website that we could access was this Pac-Man like generator thing and we yes. used to just play pac-man all night and we're like <sighs> yeah so look this is what happens when you've got a boring overnight job yes it happens i had that for two years so i remember it fondly we played a lot of pac-man we did indeed all right guys we hope you enjoyed this episode of beauty news if you did give it a thumbs up even if you're on the podcast because you should be listening to us <laughs> on himalaya which and, means and you can sit on the train and give us a thumbs up <laughs> exactly <laughs> and people will be like what well, maybe that's a conversation starter you on can Poly also Transport. comment yes you can you can actually do that you can just go around giving people thumbs, thumbs up, up. Good, work. Here. Good, good work, work mate. good, good work, work. All right, guys, we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.